Look, I want to deal with this committed curse because, see, it started 300 years after the death of Jesus. The Babylonian Hebrews, writers of the Talmud, created this Hamitic curse that we were cursed black from the children of Ham. So most of us think that blackness is a curse. And most white people think that too. That's why they can do to you the things that they do because they don't see you as an equal human being. Now look at this curse. It says, Ham is told by his outraged father that because you have abused me in the darkness of the night, your children shall be born black and ugly. Are you listening to me? That's why when you go back years ago on the lawns of rich white homes, there would always be the figure of a black person with big, thick lips, ugly looking, to make you look at yourself and hate how God created you. Because you have twisted your head to cause me embarrassment. They shall have kinky hair and red eyes. And because your lips jested at my exposure, theirs shall swell. This is how they're teaching their children about the thickness of our lips. I hope you're listening to me. God damn it, if you sleep, shake them up and wake them up. I'm not going to waste my time today. And because you neglected my nakedness, they shall go naked with their shamefully elongated male members, that's their penis, exposed for all to see. 300 years after Jesus, this is spread throughout the world. You're a black Christian. When I was a young boy, I went south to college. And black Christians couldn't worship in white Christian churches. And if you went, you had to go in the balcony because you couldn't sit on the floor with white people. Do you remember that? White Christians who talk about God is love. Thomas Jefferson had a nephew. And this nephew stood in front of of a group of black people and took a live black man and start cutting off his hands, his arms, and throw his hand in the fire and his arm in the fire, cut off his foot, cut off his leg. You don't believe that, do you? <laughs> You say, well, Farrakhan, if you, if you keep talking like this, we're going to end up hating people. 
God don't want to hate nobody. Shut up. Shut up. You don't know nothing about God to talk about hate. God hates the devil and he will kill the devil. And you know damn well he hates Satan. My purpose is not to make you hate nobody, but my purpose is to make you understand what you have contributed to America and what America has done and continues to do. White Christians, don't treat black Christians as their equal. Come on! You that are Mormons, only a few days ago, you could join the church, but you couldn't be anything of substance in that church until they got another revelation. They had Catholic churches while they were doing this to us. They had Baptist churches while they were doing this to us. They had Episcopalian churches while they were doing this to us. You don't have no record of the church stopping their people from doing these things. You a Jew? Black Jew? How do white Jews treat you? See, you don't you you can't you can argue with me. If you argue, you don't have a leg to stand on. Go to Israel and see how the Ethiopian Jews that are black like you are being treated. Go to Israel and see the Semitic Jews. And see how they're treated. But what about Islam? You lying damn hypocrites. Talking about there's no color distinction in Islam. You a damn liar. are better but they're not clean of this Muhammad peace be upon him was a white skinned Arab and he dealt with this among his own followers when Bilal came to follow him his own followers he had to chide them for the way they treated Bilal to me I went to Syria and I visited the tomb of Bilal it was dirty and nasty and when the Arab leader came and said this is the tomb of our master Bilal I said he's your master and you leave his tomb dirty and nasty like this Am I telling the truth, Akbar? They cleaned it up since then. I don't give a damn where I am in the world. I will kick you behind with the truth. I don't give a damn what you say.
don't need your acceptance. I'm already accepted. That lie is sufficient for me. He's sufficient for you.